Hi and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm showcasing some new pattern papers by Altenew. So the new release including dies and stamps and the pattern paper has just been released and we are celebrating with a blog hop. You will find lots of giveaways along the blog hop. Make sure to visit my blog where you will find all the details. So I am browsing really quickly all the dies and the stamps that have been released but for today's video I'm going to focus mainly on the pattern papers. There have been released lots of 6x6 uh, six six pattern papers and if you never used uh, Alta New papers you need to know that they are really heavy and they have a beautiful shine on them. Now this specific one that I am showing you is called Alluring Blooms and it is just gorgeous. It is beautiful as it is to just frame it and um, decorate your craft room. But today I'm going to show you how you can use these beautiful papers in a creative way to make really quick and simple cards that look beautiful and gorgeous. All 6x6 paper pads by Alta New come with uh, 12 different designs and you get two pages for each design, so in total you end up having a paper pad with 24 pages. And of course at the back you can see all the different designs. Some of them are great for subtle backgrounds, others are great for focal points. And uh, since I fell in love with the first pack that I show you, I'm going to use that for creating three cards today. And uh, you will find everything linked down below, just like always. Now I'm using one of my rectangle dies and try to decide which part of this uh, page I want to use for my card. And since I have two pages for each design, I am able to cut out pieces and pop them on my main card. So you see, I just try to visualize with those uh, dies where I want things to go. I'm going to cut out a part using the smallest of those dies. And then from the second pattern paper, I'm going to use my scissors and fuzzy cut the flower as well as some of the leaves. Now the fact that this is a very loose design, it's great when you use your scissors to cut it out. Nothing has to be perfect and it's going to look beautiful on top of the other pattern paper. Now I have cut out the flower and I'm moving on to cut out the leaves. For those I decided to cut out only the dark blue ones because they seem as if they are at the foreground and I want to pop them on my main card. Now I have all the parts ready to go and it's time to put my card together. I'm going to stick my panel on top of my card base at the center leaving a lovely white border all around. I love that because it frames the art somehow. And then I'm going to use some foam tape at the back of the flower and pop it on top. Of course you don't have to align it perfectly, you can uh, definitely put it on an angle. This is going to make it look more fluffy, but I decided to go completely at the top. Now I'm going to stick down the leaves and I like how those cutout pieces come outside the frame. I'm going to use my scissors to cut off all the excess paper. And my card is pretty much ready. I need to do some finishing touches such as to add my sentiment. The sentiment says, uh, hey gorgeous. I just stamped that on a very thin strip of uh, white cardstock and it comes from a new stamp set that has just been released. Really beautiful. It's a large background stamp as well as uh, lots and lots of sentiments at the bottom. And uh, it is called Delicate Flower Bed. And I'm going to finish off my card by adding some uh, drops. This is a Nouveau Dream Drop. It has a lovely shimmer on it. And um, I just follow the flower pattern and added those drops exactly where the dots were originally on the flower. So this is my first card and let's move on to the second one. For the second one I'm going to pair my pattern paper with one of the white and black stripes from this paper pack. This is the Essential Rock Collection. It's one of those paper packs that uh, they don't look much since they are just black and white and grey but they are great for backgrounds and uh, I keep using uh, this type of pattern papers again and again. So I am going to cut it down to size and from this beautiful pattern paper I'm going to chop off some of the flowers from the first page and I have another one, the same one, which I'm going to use to pop flowers on top just like I did with the first card. Now I'm going to stick one on top of the other and I used foam tape at the back. 
So I have some dimension. And now from the second pattern paper, which is the same, I'm going to cut out the flowers. Again, since this is a very loose design, it doesn't have to be perfect. Trust me, any imperfection is not going to show at the finished project. And you can even cut them smaller, make smaller flowers out of them, and stick them on top of the others on the main card. It's going to look nice and fluffy and very dimensional. Now I'm going to pop those flowers with foam tape at the back on top of my card. And I have also cut out a few of the leaves, which I'm going to stick uh, tucked underneath those flowers to complete the design. Now for this card I also need to do the finishing touches, such as the sentiment. Again, I use the sentiment from the delicate flower bed. I'm also finishing off the flower. I think these are poppies with black seeds at the center using my nouveau drop. And here is a close up look on the finished card. Now, the truth about those pattern papers is that they are so gorgeous that you can just cut out a piece, stick it on top of a card base, and you are good to go. Just stick a sentiment on top. But I'm just trying to show you different and creative ways on how you can take it a step further. For the third and last card for today, instead of popping flowers from the image, I'm just going to stick a frame that I have cut out and I have foam tape at the back, so it is dimensional. You can easily turn this into a shaker card if you like and add some uh, sequence moving around inside just by adding an acetate. I decided to keep it quite simple. I'm using this gorgeous Hello die that has just been released. Look how beautiful this is. And since I have some uh, darker areas at the bottom, I think this stands out beautifully down there. It really looks like a painting with a white frame all around. And all I'm going to do to this card is to just add some nouveau drops at the center of the flowers, just where the design has dots already. And again for this card I'm using Dream Drops, which is iridescent and it's going to give a beautiful shine on the finished project. And here is the finished card, really simple to make, but remember you do have another page with the same design that you can always cut out flowers and pop them on top of this one, like I did with the previous cards. And here are all the three cards that I made for today showcasing these beautiful pattern papers by Altenew. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I hope you will all have a lovely day.